Hi, I'm Jeff Smith, and we're here in my studio today so I can show you how I draw some of the bone characters. All right, well, let's draw a picture of phone bone. Phone bone's not that hard to draw. It's just a few lines. You just got to get the expression right. Uh, you practice it a few times, you'll get it. And then you can start to imagine what foam bone would look like if he was thinking different things. Foam bone is a very happy character, so that's why he's got a big smiley face. All right, to complete his happy expression, he has like these eyebrows above his head. And we'll put him high in the air because he's in a good mood. One of the points of the thicks and thins is to show weight or mass. That's why the underside of his nose is a lot you know, thicker. It also helps me show what shape or form of foam bone is in front of the other. Get those big feet. Then to make him really look like he's standing on the ground, I'm going to draw a shadow. that will show where the where the ground is. All right, let's put a little, some grass or just some little lines in the background just to, just so he has somewhere to stand. And there we go. So at this point, the finished pages go downstairs to Steve where he scans them in and, and begins the coloring process. Hi, I'm Steve, uh, I'm the colorist, and um, I'm gonna show you guys um, how I color a page of bone. The choice of colors usually comes with um, a conversation that Jeff and I will have before I start.